Here in Forestville, you'll find Meadows Farm, where you can shop, pick, and eat. In just a few short weeks, these trees will have a new home and a new look, all ready for the Christmas season. Can't choose just one? The brewery also offers a flight of four. Choose four of your favorites, drink, and enjoy. And here in the heart of Great Valley, Pumpkinville, where the supply of apples, cider, and pumpkins never seems to run out. Here at Cummins Cider Mill, they offer cider hot by the cup, cold by the carton, or frozen by slushy machine. This week I traded pizza and booze for sneakers and weightlifting as I visited Eads Fitness 24-7. Here at Besecker and Koss, when October's over, so are pumpkins. When in Olean, residents say Green Acres is the place to be. Here at Armand's Fashions for Men, they try to keep old fashion in fashion. A New York State grant will fund the building of a new rehabilitation center for women in Cattaraugus County. Amelia Kibbe has the story. A 16-bed facility exists for men in Weston Mills, located east of Olean. Thanksgiving is upon us, and these turkeys are getting ready for their big day. Even if some aren't quite ready for it. At Sprague's Turkey Farm, just a mile away from the well-known Sprague's restaurant, owner Randy Sprague continues his father's tradition of raising thousands of free-range turkeys for both the restaurant's Thanksgiving dinner and hundreds of home family gatherings. It's, you know, it's families that have been doing this as a tradition for almost as long as we've had the farm. Uh, uh, as the family generations change, that's passed down through, and uh, we still get families that have done it for just, you know, decades, and continue to come and, uh, and get a, a real good premium bird. Sprague gets the turkeys as poults and raises them himself, not putting them in cages and allowing them to roam inside and out freely while using no additives or antibiotics. They're kept in our uh, barn when they're real little until they're old enough to be outside in the, in the weather and then we turn them loose after they're about six weeks old and they go out on this, this whole range area and it's about a 20 acre range that they can go out on. Reservations for Thanksgiving dinner at Sprague's are filling up fast and even the turkeys seem to know why. Obviously, we, uh, we raise a good portion of our flock to use at our restaurant at Sprague's Maple Farms, and uh, we serve fresh dressed on Thanksgiving Day there. Yeah, we dress um, for anyone that wants to have uh, Thanksgiving at their home with their families and ready for pickup on the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. So uh, coming up fast, so little do they know their days are very, very numbered at this point, so <laughs> that's just the way it goes. <laughs> Turkeys can be ordered up until Monday the 21st this year and it priced at about $3 a pound. For SBU TV, I'm Madeline Faircloth. Sinuses, stress, snoring problems, a new salt therapy trend may be your solution. Here at the Ellicottville Salt Cave, they can bring the beach to you. Just 45 minutes in one of their rooms is equivalent to four days on a nice beach. The idea, inside the salt cave room are reclining chairs, blankets, a four inch thick salt floor, and salt-fed waterfall that dissolves the salt into a brine, releasing its negative ions into the air. All you have to do is sit, relax, and breathe. So why salt? Owner Tracy Drapper explains the discovery dating back to World War II. The Germans would hide in the salt caves to escape the bombings, and when they came out, a doctor noticed that they looked good, felt good, did research, found out that inhaling the salt air is very good for you. The Salt Spa is open seven days a week, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and requires reservations for the salt room, cave, and massage services, starting at $30. Salt soap, energy balls, and lamps are also available for purchase to get the salty benefits at home. They're happy when they leave here. It's just a, a calming, relaxing atmosphere. The salt lamps have a lot of benefits. It's very good for stress, anxiety, depression and people feel good as soon as they walk in the, the door. For SBU TV, I'm Madeline Faircloth. From tool belts to dog treats and all the screws in between, Worth W. Smith Hardware is home to industrial and household necessities, agricultural feed, a self-playing piano, and even a semi-friendly cat. Since 1929, this Twin Tiers hardware store has been supplying the local Olean community with not-so-typical hardware store products. 
Priding themselves on those unusual finds, owner Nate Smith explains the history dating back to his grandfather. He was Worth W. Smith. I started in Farmers Alley, Pennsylvania, about 30 minutes from here. My father ran it for five, six decades. He's retired. I've grown up here, worked here my whole life. We're a hardware store, we're an industrial supply, agricultural supply. We sell lumber, we do a little bit of everything. So what keeps the shops prosperous against the nearby Home Depot and Value Home Center? Smith says not only more supplies, but the customer service that comes with them. We've survived, not only have we survived, we've thrived. Our business has grown. Very regular customers, very loyal customers. I love the people. I love customers, I like the people I work with. It's, that's the funnest part. Open seven days a week with five locations, ranging from Salamanca, New York, to Eldred, Pennsylvania, Worth W. Smith offers screen repairs, iron pipe and steel cutting, as well as lumber services, just to name a few. For SBU TV, I'm Madeline Faircloth. That's all for us here in the Coop. I'm Madeline Faircloth. And I'm Brittany Schlamba. Stay tuned for the Wolfpack Report. Have a wonderful day.